You asked for the truth? That's all right. When did you decide? Does it matter? No, oh, not really. You know, nothing much has since the moment Liam stepped into that road. So what do you want to know? I don't want to know. I need to know now. So that you can give a full account to the police? Oh, no. I'm not expecting that opportunity. All I ever wanted was a future for us. I knew he was in the way when I saw you kissing him on Rosie's phone and our doorstep. That's when you made your mind up. When I kissed you that night, that was a real clincher. Clarified everything. Dispelled any romantic notions I might have had of winning you. Because I knew you weren't really there. And if you weren't, I certainly wasn't. It's all the days when we've sat in this office then. In the flat or in the pub. You were calmly making preparations to kill him. I may have been calm on the surface. I am a businessman. Not a Bond villain. This was never easy for me. Not then, not ever. Oh, come off it. You stood there at that altar knowing exactly what you'd done. You were totally cold-blooded. My blood was boiling. I gave you absolute unconditional love from day one and all I asked in return was some loyalty. And what I got was betrayal in glorious technicolour. I was blissfully unaware, planning our wedding. Our wedding, Carla. And you, you left his bed to argue the toss of the cake and canopies, and you call me cold-blooded! You can't possibly compare that! that! I! You remember how you felt when Liam's carcass was lifted into the ambulance? Do you remember that? The rawness of it. Well, that's just a hint of how I felt for months. Sake. This is nothing like the same. You were being cheated on! Your lovely bleeding! Well, so did mine! His grief is grief. The only difference is I didn't have to mourn. I could do something about mine. Maybe my pride was hurt. Maybe I wanted to win. Because that's what I'm like. You do know a noble competitive streak is no justification for murder, don't you? Yeah. You see, I watched Liam die. I held him in my arms. There's absolutely no justification for that. I know that better than anyone. Why then? Because it was a necessary evil. And given the chance I would do the same again without pause. Don't look so shocked. You think I got where I am by accident? I started with nothing, and the world would have left me there if I let it. What's that got to do with anything? Everything. Everything I have, I had to work for. Every single day of my life. And yet, sometimes that meant fighting dirty. So here you are, the working class boy made bad. By circumstance. Yeah. By you. Oh, no, no. No, you're a self-made murderer. You underestimate yourself, Carla. You were the most precious thing in the world to me. The ultimate prize. You think I was going to let him come and take you away from me? Well, you made your mistake. 
He might have thought you were in control of everything, pulling all the strings. You were wrong, big time. Because you wanted to be with him. Oh, more than anything in the world, yeah. He begged me to run away with him the day he died. For a while I thought I would. Why not, eh? That's what my heart was screaming out of me to do. You didn't get a chance. No, I did. I did. But I turned him down, Tony. <sighs> I said I was going to marry you and he should go back to Maria. You get cold feet. You'd have went with him eventually. As long as he was there, the threat... No, he was done with. He was done with. Because once he'd have found out Maria was pregnant again, meaning it would have been a beautiful memory. Nothing more. So you see, Tony, you killed him for nothing. Are you seriously saying you chose me over him? <laughs> no. I felt something for you. Always did. But I love Liam more than life. I let him go for his sake. You think of you always. And anyone that gets close to you pays the price. Paul, Liam, now me. You've destroyed us all. If it makes you feel better to think that. We could have been happy. You could have grown to love me like him. And Liam could have been happy with Maria and his baby, but... You wouldn't leave it alone. This happened because of you. You had to stake your claim. And when you'd done just enough to prove you were the better woman, you backed off. Because you'd won the game. This is pointless. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't walk out today because we're not done, not by a long way. So... What happens next? I shouldn't have blamed you for Liam's death. I mean, you pushed me to it, but you couldn't have known that. You couldn't know the lengths I'd go to. I'm not proud of what I did. But the punishment was way too hard. I know. I destroyed you just as surely as you destroyed me. Oh, I guess the day we met. No. Never. I should. B.C. before Carla. I was content, confident, happy. Now here I am, insecure and paranoid. But you know, if that's the only way we could be together, I'd take it, because it was worth it. You can't be serious. You, you took away the only thing that ever mattered to me. It was him or me. Without you, Carla, I'm finished. If we're prepared and we could heal together, have a future. It's in our hands. Liam's buried. Everything connected with them, I'm in the clear. We could wipe the slate clean. Wipe the slate clean? You're a murderer. I did it for you. I did it because I love you. In your own sick, twisted way, I think you do. And yeah, I did play a part in it. I put my needs above yours. No, don't punish yourself. I'll be punishing myself for the rest of my days. <laughs> Not that I expect there to be many. After all, you can't let me go, can you? No. But if you think I'd kill you... ...just to save my own skin, just to silence you, then you've understood nothing. Some things are past understanding. Everything 
I done for you? I became someone I could barely live with because I thought it was the only way I could live with you. I did it. For you, all of it was for you. But you want me to be flattered? I want you to forgive me. I'll come with you right now to the police station and confess everything in triplicate. Are you serious? Never more. If you'll just stand by me, be waiting for me at the end of all this. You know I can't do that. It's over. This is it then. I'm a killer. I killed Liam, but you killed me in every other way that matters. So complete the formalities, go on. Finish what you started. This last act of kindness, come on. You mean it, don't you? Pardon, I need to speak to you. It's Vicky. Ignore her. We can't, the lights are on. Don't let her in. I'm coming, love! Mrs. Gordon! Tony's just getting the keys. What is it? I was going to leave his letter, but I, I saw your car. I have to return to work so much. My, my mother has pneumonia. No, oh, she won't be the only one, will she, if you stay out there? Oh, I, I have to hurry. I have a coach to catch. Oh, don't let us detain you. But uh, I don't know when I'll return. Just go. We'll keep your job open for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gordon. I had no idea. 